If you were wondering how to create this tape material and this concrete looking material using Cinema 4D and Redshift, wonder no more, because I will show you how to do it in this video. So let me start by just deleting this that I had already created and start with the new, with a new material. I will create this uh, new node material, which is very powerful and very easy to use in, in Cinema 4D. So what this tape material, material basically is, it's just two bump maps which are layered together on top of each other and this is creating these stripes here and that's what i'm gonna do with this uh, new node material so the first thing is to create a bump map node and then i will create this maxon noise node and if you plug it in the texture input and uh, you plug this bump map into overall bump map you will already see some results here you'll see what's going on so if you open this back up and change this for example to 0 0.01 you will see that the noise becomes more grain like and you can refresh these uh, previews if you turn off the render view and you type in this render all materials and it will refresh this for you but it won't work together with the preview so you have to choose one or the other so if you want to create these horizontal lines you have to go in here and change this to let's say 250 and you can already see that uh, these lines can be seen and if you want to create another uh, these vertical lines what i did was i just duplicated this then i went in here oh, let's just pull this apart uh, I changed this to 250 and if you want to have two bump maps layered together you have to create this bump blender bump blender and now if you select this displacement vector and you go in here texture and input and you add this one to the base input you will see that it's the same but now you can add one more or uh, three more I guess one more and when you plug it in, you just have to click this additive mode and increase this to one. And now if you change this, oh yeah, it's already working. You can already see that there are these lines. And yeah, it's uh, this tape material is close to being finished. Uh, I, I can just change this to be closer to something that uh, looks like a tape. And also this reflection roughness I might want to change this for some to something like this and yeah you can experiment with all of these uh, nodes these noise nodes you can change for example this height height scale to 0 0.4 for example which is uh, the value I used in my other one and uh, yeah this will you can also change uh, for example here you can change this low clip value and increase it and if you click this s you will see what's going on and you can increase it to something like this so so the lines are fewer but i want to do this not for this one but for the vertical lines i want to do the same i will increase this low clip so there are fewer lines fewer lines can be seen and now if I click this S, I can see that there are uh, a lot, okay, it's maybe too few. I will increase this, decrease this. So yeah, so now the vertical lines are a little less than the horizontal lines. And as I remember, maybe it's not, but I think that's the way tape looks. <laughs> maybe Google will prove me wrong, but that's not the point of this video. And so for this floor material, I will do the same thing. I will create a new node material and go in here. And it's the same thing, only I will use different values and different kinds of noise because uh, you can create almost any, any type of material with this. 
Uh, yeah, maybe maybe I can even say that you can cre create any material with these noises and combinations of these bump maps and displacement maps and everything. It's very very powerful. And now I will have to create this uh, bump. No, not here. <laughs> bump blender. Base input. Bump map. This goes in overall bump map. And this one goes in here. So if I add it, I can see the result. And now I think I used this this noise. And if you change this bump, uh, bump map to height scale to minus one, it will be inverted. And now if I go in this noise and I change this low clip value to higher, you can see that these uh, small holes become, uh, they become smaller and there are they become more apart and now if i increase the scale value and increase this even more you will have this nice look that uh, these are kind of like scratches on the ground and this is the first bump map next one i just used i think displacement turbulence and this goes in layer zero and here I have to enable this and I have to enable this so now if you go in here and you change the scale back and you change this clip back you can see that there's another noise which is on top of this noise and this one I want this to be not so visible so it's just a little bit so it just gives more texture to this and I think uh, this is going to be okay. And for the final noise, I'm gonna again duplicate this. I'm gonna make this bigger, increase this contrast, and I'm gonna add this to the layer one, go in here, give this a weight of one. And you can see that th there's a third layer of this noise, which gives these, uh, these kind of waves but this for for a concrete material I think this is too much so I will increase the scale of this and yeah it just gives uh, a little bit more of, uh, of of texture for this and that's it that's how I uh, how you can create uh, and that's it that's how you create uh, concrete material and the tape material using Redshift and uh, Cinema 4D. I think you have to have Redshift 3.0 point something uh, to have these nodes work with the Redshift materials, but you can download this uh, on their forum, uh, I think in experimental uh, versions or something like that. So I hope you like this uh, and if you have any questions, uh, write those in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.